Hi guys, it's Jasmine and I'm back with another video. Sorry about that, I had to adjust my hand on this camera. So by the way, if you're a YouTuber and you do videos on your phone, get a pop socket. Okay, it's great for stabilizing. Anyway, I'm back to you today to talk to you about what I do for a living. So a lot of people have been asking since I made my video about that phone right there, what it is that you does? Is you a stripper, or a rapper, or an actress? Like, why is you got all money all the time? So you know, people be asking me like, what do you does? Like, are you a model? Are you like a comedian or something? Nah, ain't none of that. So this is what I'm into. This company is called Live Ops. Let's see if we can get another window here. Okay, good. I tried to set everything up before the video so you guys would be ready. This is a modern call center, all right? So this is good for moms, okay? Rebecca is a stay-at-home parent who is proud of her own, who's proud to be her own boss of Live Ops. So that's the first thing that I did want to mention. I did make talking points. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those. When you work with Live Ops, you are an independent contractor. So that means that you will have your own business. You're, you are your own business and another business contracts you. Okay, so Live Ops is contracting you out to do work for on behalf of their clients. So what they expect for you to do is they expect for you to complete a background check that is paid for by you. All right, that can cost anywhere from $45 to $65. I believe mine was about $62. All right, but they do want to make sure that you are a trustworthy person. Being as though this is a call center and you are working with people's sensitive information, it's very important that they're able to hire trustworthy and reliable people. All right, the second thing that you're going to need is an internet connection. So with me, I have my modem right there. I literally just run a code for a cord, ethernet cord from the back of my modem to the back of my computer. And that satisfies my hard line requirement. I know a lot of people are worried when they hear that they have to have a hard line internet. And going through this process myself and being as though like I had to already do it, I know, so I'm able to tell you, it's really not that hard. You just take your modem right there. I have Xfinity cable, um, Wi-Fi and all that stuff. So I just take the the cord and I just run it back there it's really that simple now I have a hard line hard line connection to the internet and that's what they do require for this um, for this company all right the next thing that the company requires that this specific line now for me I work with a specific line um it requires for you to have a phone line. Not all of the lines will require you to have a phone line. Look at my setup, it's cute. So this is where I, you know, I have two computers, I know you saw in my phone video where I have my laptop and my laptop is currently being worked on. This, yeah, this is the setup. I have a little, like I said, a notepad here. I have a nice little notepad here where I go ahead and take my notes and then my um, mouse is really, really comfortable. So um, with Live Ops, let me get back to my notes so I won't digress and talk about a whole bunch of different things so that we won't have to have a phone line, which I'm really happy for because that cuts down a bill that I have to pay every month. So now I just have to pay for my internet and a new headset. I have to get rid of that one actually. So that's actually going back to Amazon. But um, yes, the last thing that they do have are requirements for your computer, but you're able to look all of that up on the website before you begin. They'll have like the different tech requirements that you have to have. And then they show here different stats and things like that. So you would just go ahead and go to where it says here, liveops.com. And then you will be able to go ahead and apply to become an agent right here up at the top corner all right and it's genuinely that simple so if you have if you're a stay-at-home mom like on the advertisement it literally says stay at home mom be your own boss so this is a really great opportunity for you to make some extra money while the children are asleep right now it's 9 31 i've been working since 7 40 so let me show you what the what the schedules look like let me get into that first so here's my schedule i'll show you here you can see that i logged on at 7 40 and i worked until 9 10. All right, so there, here, this green space, this green space is showing you a commitment that you're available to take, but I'm not going to take that. I'm going to let it go. See, you have five minutes once you take a commit to let it go, and you won't be responsible for it. Once you click on a commitment and you hold it for five minutes, you are responsible for completing that commitment, and you have to show up for at least 25 of the 30 minutes of that segment. I like how you can schedule 30 minute segments with Live Ops because it gives you a lot of flexibility, especially if you have children. So I wanted to, um, I made a clip earlier and I deleted that video, but as you can see here, there are options available for shifts that you can pick up on the day of. 
this morning when I logged in at 740, there were all of this was green. So on every Monday, this particular line releases their commitment schedule where you're able to go ahead and pick up commitments all the way out through um, Saturday the 8th. Let me double check that you can do that. No, so right now it looks like you can check out commitments all the way up until the 2nd. And each Monday, more commitments will open. But you see, like right here, there are more commitments. Right there, there are more commitments where you can go ahead and plug those in. And I like to work between specific hours because, as most of you know, and as is in my bio, I am a mother. So as you can see here, I set my time up so that I'm working before my son wakes up. And then I work after he goes to sleep at 6.30 or 6 o'clock. I go ahead and log in at 6.40. I give myself a little 10 minute window and then I'm able to work again until 1040 or even, you know, later if I'd like to. So this is great for moms. It's great. I'm able to make a nice, decent amount of money. Oh yeah, money. So let's talk about that. I went ahead and pulled up a previous payment that I received here. So I'll show you the breakdown because I know everybody wants to know how much money can you make? So with this, it shows the exact amount of minutes that I spoke on the phone, how many calls I took, what date it was, and then how much I made for that specific call. So this was less than one, two, three, four, five, six days. This was six days of work that I did. Okay. So basically, this is like one week of work. And I made 405 48 This is real money. It went to my real bank account. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm y'all know me. Most of y'all know me. You're just watching this video. I ain't no celebrity. I'm a real person. Okay. This is a real deal and um, it was really easy honestly for me because I worked for Victoria's Secret in the store let me go ahead and put that out there I did work for Victoria's Secret in the store so I was already really comfortable with the product line and all the different bra styles and sizes so that wasn't a hump for me to learn it was just getting on and learning the phone systems so here we have the main center where you log in every single day there are resources communication another thing I want to say about this company is that they are very good with getting back with you when you log in here's the phone panel right here normally I would just click the phone panel Panel. And like I said, this is going to change. This, I mean, by the 21st, this information is going to be obsolete. So I have to make another video definitely on this. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a lot of questions. But once you click on that phone panel for right now, this is how things work. It takes you here to the phone line. And then from here, you're able to say offline, go online, or alert me. Alert me is the status that you have when, let's say, you are working uncommitted. So hmm, for this space right here, I could go on my phone at 940 and work this and that would be considered working uncommitted because I haven't committed to that time frame but I am still taking calls. So when I'm during that stage, stage, I like to go ahead and go into alert me mode when I'm working uncommitted so that I'm able to get notified. My computer will make a loud noise when the call volume has raised and then that lets me know, you know, I may be able to set my son in his room for a 30 minute TV show while I go ahead and take some more calls for that amount of time. And that's really great. That's a really great option because it gives me so much flexibility in my earning potential. It's awesome. So with the phone, I already showed you just really briefly what it looks like. And then we have log here. We have a bunch of different resources. Okay, normally when you're on the phone, there'll be another tab right here that says chat. And with Victoria's Secret, I know that they are very responsive in the chat. They are always willing to help you if you need any extra assistance. I get emails constantly of different updates that are going on with the company, so I'm never behind on the sales or anything. It just takes a lot of personal responsibility. So it's working from home. It does take a lot of discipline because people they seem to think sometimes when you work from home that you're not working. No, you are still working. You're, you're really working like you would at a normal call center but you're working from home. So you have to have an extreme amount of discipline. I've went ahead and I made myself a schedule that includes getting my child on the schedule, his wake up times and his go to sleep times, his nap times, his learning times, because he's um, two years old. So I do do a little bit of light preschooling for him as far as homeschooling, because he's not officially old enough to be enrolled in school, but I do do a little bit of pre homeschooling for him during the day, but all of that is set on a schedule, okay? And like I mentioned earlier, there are commits sometimes the day of, but these blue ones that I have here, these are the ones that I've already committed to on a Monday. So every Monday around noon, around um, between 10 and 2, between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Victoria's Secret releases their commits. I bl briefly discussed this pardon me I briefly discussed this a little bit earlier but I'm gonna go ahead and go into a little bit more deeper detail so you know when Monday comes around you have to have that discipline to go ahead and make sure that you put those commitments on your schedule 
to go ahead and satisfy those commitments. So I wanna explain this to you also. So here we have the performance, all right? Live Ops, as I mentioned briefly earlier, you have to spend 25 minutes of the 30 minute window in order to satisfy that commit. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this right here, my work history, because I'm at 88%, which is unacceptable. Let me just go ahead and say that's unacceptable. You're supposed to have between, you're supposed to have above 92%, but it will show you every commitment that you took Okay, how many how much time you spent on the calls, how many calls you took, what line group you're in. Okay, it'll give you all that information and it'll let you know where you are of this. So I've completed 44 out of 50 of my commits through midnight last night. All right, but I would have to go ahead and improve that because that is not satisfactory, okay? So that's where I am with that. I'm gonna go ahead and be 110% honest, but I do make 88% of my commits. I'm working towards better attendance because when you get better attendance, you tend to get more hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into that with you guys too. Where you see this, it says free space. I'm able to take that space and let it go without it adjusting my commitment number, right? You see out of 150. But if I were to go ahead and take this space, it shows 47. You see my commit budget goes down. So that shows the amount of commitments that I'm able to take. And I like when they have these free spaces, especially during the holidays, because you're able to pick up more hours and work more time for your business and make more money for your family. So I just definitely wanted to hop on and put y'all onto this game. This is not some uh, fantasy that um, people are talking about and not really doing. I'm a real person. I make real money with this. And I think this is a great opportunity that I want a lot of moms to know about a lot of single moms as well. Because you know, I've been able to not only eliminate daycare from, you know, from me having to pay $600 or more of daycare throughout the day, I get more time to spend with my baby, I get to watch him grow. And I get to support my household on this amount of money. Now it was a little bit of a rough transition. I do admit like if you have like a full time job, you may want to ease into this and not just jump like I did with both feet. But you know, you live and you learn and I've definitely made a decent amount of money from this. It's not a scam. As soon as if you've ever heard anybody talking about it, it is not a scam, okay? But um, you do have some requirements that you do have to pass first and there are some, um, you know, just regular things that you may need to make sure that you have in order to get started. So I hope this video helps you and I hope that you're able to go ahead and take this new path with a little bit more knowledge. I have to go and make breakfast, but thank you so much for tuning in. Vibrate high.